Hey everyone, this is Andrew Grush from Mobile Magazine here. Today we're going to take a look at the LG Intuition, a phablet available in the United States exclusively through Verizon Wireless. Alright, so what exactly is a phablet? Well, basically it's just a term we use for any smartphone that has a screen size of 5 inches or higher. Uh, it was first popularized when referring to the Samsung Galaxy Note, which has done extremely well internationally and in the United States as well. In fact, the Note 2 has already arrived to select markets, but we, ha we don't have it here yet in the U.S. For the moment, the LG Intuition is the only phablet that you're going to get through Verizon's network. When it comes to benchmark performance, this does not compare to the Note 2. It has a 1.5 GHz dual-core processor, 1 GB of RAM, 1024 by 768 display, and an aspect ratio of 4.3. While the benchmarks aren't going to wow you, it does perform pretty admirably for everyday tasks. Gaming works great, so does browsing, the colors are crisp, the phone really doesn't freeze or stall. It's not perfect, but it actually runs pretty well for most of us, and it will do the job. Taking a look, there are some touch-sensitive buttons on the front, and then there's the 5-inch IPS panel. On one side, although it's hard to see, there is a micro SIM slot. On the other side, you have volume rockers. There ain't a whole lot to see on the bottom, so I'm not going to show you. On the top, headphone jack. This right here is, is your uh, micro USB slot. You can cover it if you want to slide. Here's a power button. This is really cool. If you press this, this turns on the memo mode, which lets you start writing right away. I'll show you that a bit later. All right, let's take a look at the back. You have an 8 megapixel shooter, takes 1080p video. This is a 4G LTE device. Okay, now we'll look at the pen. This pen right here is what they call the rubber diem. It's basically like the S Pen in a way, but it's not pressure sensitive, and it doesn't have some of the hover tricks and other things you're going to get with the Note. Okay, looking at the interface, we have a pretty standard looking, I mean it is a custom skin, but it's pretty close to what you can get with the standard ice, ice cream sandwich experience. There are some, there's a little dock down here. You can actually drag icons down into the dock as well. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the browser. As you can see, here's Mobile Magazine. It's pretty close to what you're going to see when you come to our site through a browser, you know, through a regular desktop browser. The only thing that I don't particularly like about this this uh, smartphone, which depends on your own tastes, I like to watch a video in full screen. You know, take this thing does have black boxes because of the aspect ratio. That may or may not bother you. All right, the one thing you probably want to see is the pen in action. So here we go. Now, pardon me, there's already some stuff on the screen because I've been playing around. Okay. So here we have a screenshot of the last thing I was doing, which was being at, which was at our site. So this is useful if you want to make a memo about a specific, you know, item that you took a shot of. Pushing right there, you can also switch to just a blank page if that's what you need instead. Like I said, this is not pressure sensitive, but it's easy enough to change pen types. My handwriting is not good, but it actually does do a pretty good job. And that's basically a short look at the LG Intuition. Is this phone perfect? No, it's not. That being said, it does perform pretty well. You know, it has some cool features. I don't like that the rubber DM has no place to put the pen. LG basically told us, well, they didn't officially tell us, but basically the way I look at it is they're telling us that we better not lose it because they didn't bother to include any kind of holder. That may bother you, that may not. This is a solid device. It's attractive enough looking. Whether you want to wait for the Note 2 is pretty much up to you. Thanks for watching the video.